When you're seeing the sun or any kind of star, you're seeing nuclear fusion at work. Fusion energy is a clean energy source with zero carbon emissions. But how does nuclear fusion actually work? To start, we need a fusion laboratory that can support extremely high temperatures and high amount of pressure similar to the sun's core. We can find one in the U.S. at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. Back in the 1960s, a group of U.S. scientists began developing powerful lasers to achieve fusion ignition. The target was a small pellet containing deuterium and tritium isotopes. Multiple lasers hitting the target removes the nuclei's repulsive force by turning isotopes into a plasma state, a fourth state of matter achieved with extremely high temperatures. Additionally, inertial confinement begins from its special container. This is where the center material undergoes extreme pressure, forcing nuclei to fuse and releasing energy. All this in just a fraction of a second. On December 5, 2022, NIF scientists successfully fused deuterium and tritium isotopes. This resulted into helium and extra masses. However, extra masses are instantly converted to energy, to which we use Einstein's formula E equals mc squared. NIF scientists reported that 2 megajoules of laser energy blasted to the target resulted to 3 megajoules of fusion energy. This is known as scientific energy break-even, where there is more energy produced from fusion than the laser energy driving it. Why is this important? This form of energy may hold the key in saving our planet from climate change, a global issue that may decide the fate of humanity in the coming years.